okay guys so in this video i want us to go through a note under a balance sheet so the note that we are going to do today is trading other receivable as well as trading other payable and the last one we're gonna touch a trading stock note so please make sure that you watch the entire video so that you will are uh, you you're gonna understand the principle how you should deal with the transaction that affecting a trading other receivable in trading other payable as well as trading stock so i'm gonna explain step by step firstly i'm gonna explain for you so that you can understand some of the important words so that you will know that this transaction is related to a certain account okay let's start with trading other receivable under trading other receivable the first one that you have to know first is debtors control those clients who purchase to us on credit we call them a data so those people will record them under editors control so in other words even if when you face the transition that is related to bad debt that is not yet recorded which means that you have to go and subtract under data's control okay bad debt adjustment you also have to adjust it under data's control okay that's what we record any transition that is related to our data okay then we have accrued income and prepaid expense let's start with accrued income when we said accrued income which means that it's someone who is owing us that person is owe us some income that we were supposed to receive the person hasn't yet paid that's why we call it accrued income and that's why it falls under trade and other receivable and the other thing that we have to know is that trade and other receivable is an asset okay this is an asset in other words when we say in, in assets assets is a resource or you, we, we can simply say assets is an item that the company own which means that these people we own them because we have to demand our money you get my point so that's why we say it's an asset it's well under trading other receivable then we have prepaid expense why prepaid expense is an asset let's start it here when we said prepaid expense this simple means that this is an expense that we paid in advance in other words for example we paid a rent in advance we pay a rent for next year which means that the owner of the of the house is owing us well, a what a money because we have paid for next year and we haven't stayed for next year which means that if we want to move we can go back and take our money that's why we call it an asset okay then let's proceed so this is not the only item that fall under trading other receivable we have another item that can also fall under this note however i want us to discuss the main keywords the other thing we're gonna find them when we go to a question paper okay trading other payables okay when we talk about a trade in other payables this is a liability this is a liability a liability simply means that we owe someone okay we simply we owe someone a cash okay we take something to them or we take inventory on credit then we have to pay them okay we call it trade and other payables number one we have creditors control a creditors control will record all transactions that uh, affecting uh, our supplier the one that the, the, the supplier that they give us a stock on credit then we record all adjustment here if we pay them we have to come and subtract but if we go and borrow again this account is going to increase because liability is going to to increase a creditors control will record all the supplier that deliver to us on credit okay then accrued expense which means that we have not yet paid for example we have not yet paid rent for last month or for this month which means that we owe the landlord it's accrued expense okay then the last one income received in advance what is income received in advance very simple we receive income in advance in other words for example if we are a company 
that uh, is renting some houses, which means that that person or a tenant has uh, paid us a money for next year, which means that we owe that person because he has not stay for next year, which means that for us, it's liability. What if that person uh, want to move now, which means that we have to go and pay that amount because we have not yet deliver a service, okay? Even in a situation where, for example, a client orders something and make a payment, and we have not yet delivered a goods to, 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 to our client, which means that it's a liability to us because we have not yet delivered. What if we don't deliver? That person is going to come back to us and take the money. That's why we said income receipt in advance is a liability. So that's the main keywords that you have to understand. Okay, then now let's go to our question paper. Okay, then use the trial balance and additional information to prepare the following notes to the balance sheet. Okay, on 30 September 2019. Okay, the note that we are going to start with is trade and other receivable, and we we'll go to trade and other payable, and the last one we're gonna go to a uh, trading stock. So the balance sheet and the equity note. You have to check the other videos. Uh, I'm gonna record it, but separate with this video. So please make sure that you go and check, so that you can also master the principle of a balance sheet. How to prepare a balance sheet? Okay, let's check. Number one, we first have to check a data control. Do we have it? Yes, we have it under our account. A data control. Okay, the other principle, guys, that I want to, you to master is that when you see amount on the debit side, that amount is an asset. You have to check here. If the amount is on the credit side, it's liability. But it can happen that uh, an asset become on the credit side, which means that it's going to be a negative asset. Okay, you also have to, to note that, but in generally on the debit side is an asset, credit side is liability. Okay, then our data's control is 80,500, but we don't just have to go and record this amount, we have to also check the transaction if there's, if there's any transaction that is going to affect this amount 80,500. Okay, let's go to additional information okay so that we won't waste time a transition that is going to affect this uh, uh, amount is transition number f an amount of 500 was incorrectly credited against the task control account this amount was received from cls a data whose account was already returned off as a bad debt okay this uh, person come back and do what make a payment okay so it was incorrectly accredited remember an asset increase on the debit and decrease on the credit which means that that amount was subtracted on the credit side so now we have to do what we have to add it back to make what a correction okay we're gonna say plus a 500 okay then it's gonna give us 81 thousand okay we don't have any other transaction that is going to affect uh, that amount okay now let's check the next one okay we're gonna do this account at the same time we also have creditors control of fifty five thousand okay now we have to check this account then we check other transaction that is going to affect we have accrued income of 8700 is on the debit side is an asset accrued income okay 8700 on the debit simple means that is an asset okay then we also have accrued expense on the credit side simple means that is liability accrued expense 5500 okay then let's check another one we also have okay i think we have to go to adjustment adjustment number one table separate transfer a vehicle to the value of hundred thousand is not going to affect anything 
under these two notes. This is non-current asset, okay? It's PPE. So number two, on date September 2019, after a fiscal stop taking, a performance, okay? So this one is going to affect our inventory account, okay? We're going to do this, the last one. Number C, an installment of 20000 is an annual repaid on the loan at ASA on 31 December. So this is a repayment of a loan. So a loan is non-current assets, but amount that is going to be paid within 12 months, we regard it as a current portion of a loan. Current portion of a loan is trade and other payable. Okay, which means that it's going to be added here. Current portion of a loan of 20,000. Okay, let me explain this one so that you can understand proper. We have non-current liability and current liability. Non-current liability is the amount that we are going to pay after 12 months. Current liability is the amount that we are going to pay within 12 months, before 12 months. So this amount has been determined that it's going to be paid on 31 December, which means that it's no longer more than 12 months. It's less than 12 months. That's why we have to minus it when we go to an, a loan under a liability under non current liability we have to subtract this 20,000 and add it here because it's no longer long term but it's a short term okay that is the meaning of non uh, current portion of a loan okay then number d a rent income reflect a total of 102 okay it is uh, it it you could rent for three months received in advance. In other words, this one or two is for fifteen months because normally it must be twelve months, but there is a three months which has been paid in advance. Okay, which means that we must divide by fifteen so that we can get a monthly amount. Okay, after getting a monthly amount, we have to multiply by by those three months so that we can determine actual amount that has been paid in advance okay so this is a um, rent income which means that it's gonna be income received in advance okay so if you do all those calculation you're gonna get twenty thousand four hundred twenty thousand four hundred you say 102 divided by 15, you get the answer and you multiply by 3, you're going to get this amount. Very simple. Okay, then let's proceed. The next one. Too much insurance was paid. 9 or 950 of amount that was paid. They said it's too much expense has been paid, which means that it's prepaid expense. This amount must be used to settle the insured bill to the following year. In other words, we paid the insurance for next year. This is prepaid expense. Okay. We own this amount is an asset because this amount we can claim it back because it's for next year, it's not for now. Okay. We paid expense in advance. Okay. Then the other transaction that we need to adjust. Okay, for this note, we don't have any other transaction which we are going to get if we do calculation. We add this three amount, we're gonna get 90,000. Okay, and if you check on your trial balance, we have SARS pay as you end. So that's also trading other payables. Okay, SARS pay as you earn or pay me. Okay, you can even see it's on the credit side 4600. Okay, so if you do all this calculation, you are going to get amount of 105500. All right, so this is how uh, we deal with this uh, transaction. 
So let's uh, proceed to the last note. The last note uh, that I said we're gonna do is trading stop. Okay, a trading stop, guys, is very very simple. We're gonna have a trading stop that we have to adjust. So if we have any stationary on hand, we must also adjust it. On hand. All right. Then let's check. The trading stop that we have at the beginning under our trial balance is 105. Okay, we have to open a bracket and check if we have any effect under additional information or if we have any closing stop that we need to subtract. Okay, number B, on 3rd September 2019, after fiscal stock taking um, was performed, Tower took a shoes with the cost of 2000 of personal use. This is not yet recorded, which means that this amount of 2000 must be subtracted. 2000, then we're gonna get 103. So this is how you should do it and the last one We're gonna check if we have any Station around hand. Yes, we have it consumable store of 900 We're just gonna record it as it is Okay, then after that we must Add this which is going to give us one or three nine hundred so this is how you should prepare all these three notes very simple so i'm gonna do a part two which have some deep information so please make sure that you like and subscribe and comment and tell me what do you think about this activity that we were doing and also tell me how did you master all these items so that i will be able to know if i'm assisting someone or not okay so I'm going to see you on the next one, guys. Goodbye.